by gosh, by golly, it's time for mistletoe and holly. They are an integral part of a traditional Christmas. Why? Well, both holly and mistletoe are evergreen plants and for thousands of years have been seen to represent everlasting life. Early Christians also felt that holly symbolised Christ's crown of thorns and so they used it in the first ever Christmas celebrations. And because mistletoe was an ancient fertility symbol, we've been gathering beneath it for about 300 years now for a nice big Christmas kiss. Come here, you. Oh, by gosh, by golly. In fact, this year has been a great one for mistletoe. On Stan Yap's farm in Worcestershire, it's in plentiful supply. It's been warm, warm and damp, and it sort of suits this area, you know, and the, of course when the trees do well, the, the mistletoe does well. Because the mistletoe actually grows on the trees? On the trees, yes. And here, most of the mistletoe here grow on apple trees. How do you get that down? I pull it down <laughs> with this hook. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I take it. This part of the country was hit hard with flooding during the summer, conditions which have spelt disaster for another Christmas favourite. Holly trees suffered badly, and there's very little holly about. Something Michael Harper is having to explain to the customers who come to his shop to buy it. I think people have always liked having natural natural things in the house. This year, just the amount of holly with berries on is, is lacking, um, and it's, it's very difficult to find a good number of berries on the holly. It's time for mistletoe and holly. Both holly and mistletoe are sold at auction in Tenbury Wells in Worcestershire each Christmas. This year, if you want to buy holly, you'll have to bid high. 50, 60, 50. Tim Muffet, BBC News.